We've all been there. The show's about to start. You're standing in your plastic prehistoric pod, ready to bust through it and jump down on stage to start the show. And you're thinking, man, I am so psyched that I have this wireless system for my guitar. For those of you who haven't experienced the thrill of wireless guitar playing, I've got something for you today. The Guitaria Wireless System. I was shocked when I bought this little system. It's incredibly easy to use, totally plug and play, intuitive, and it costs $40. Let's look at some of the specs. The unit comes with a transmitter and receiver, each with a quarter inch output. The components are extremely light and they are hinged so that they can bend to conform to the shape of your guitar, pedal, or amp. With a latency of less than 12 milliseconds, there is zero discernible delay in the signal and the fidelity is shockingly good. I truly cannot hear a difference between the signal from the Guitaria as opposed to when I run it through my high-end Speak Friends cables. The system comes with a USB charger. When fully charged, it'll last for three hours of play and it recharges really quickly when the battery runs out. Setup is beyond easy. You just turn on the receiver, then the transmitter, and they pair, and then you're ready to go. In a room filled with audio equipment, computers, cell phone, Wi-Fi. I've never experienced any kind of signal interference or noise of any sort. Now let's run a test on what kind of range we can get on this system. Okay, so we have the transmitter is here in the guitar. The receiver is plugged into my pedal and that starts the signal chain and that's going into the computer. So let's go take a walk and see uh, how far we can go while it still picks it up. So for this test, I started out by going 10 feet to the side of the receiver. Then I walked forward 22 feet. And when I went out through the front door, I turned back and went 10 feet again around the corner. But what you'll notice here is that I went past an interior wall and then an exterior wall. So between the transmitter and the receiver, we had two separate walls in its path. So I think we should do a second test where there's no obstruction between the transmitter and the receiver and see how that performs. So we saw what the system can do when we go from inside an interior room through two different walls outside. Now we're gonna set it up so that it reflects more of like a real world situation if you're on a stage. So I brought um, my pedal out here and hooked the receiver into the pedal so now I'm going to walk away from this in a straight line back here with no obstructions in between. And we'll see how far we can get. We'll see if we can get farther than 22 feet. Okay, here we go. Well, that was much better. By removing the obstructions between the transmitter and receiver, we were able to get a whopping 46 foot range, more than doubling the 22 foot range we got going from the inside of the house to the outside of the house. So all in all, I use this wireless system just while I'm recording inside my own little music room just to help avoid clutter. But even if you were at a gig, this thing could serve you well with 40 plus feet of range. I think anyone who has a gig and has to get more than 50 feet away from their receiver could probably spend a little more than $40 on a wireless system. So for 40 bucks, I'm very happy with this one. So there you have it, the Guitaria GWS8 wireless guitar system. 
Uh, for $40, I cannot believe what I got out of this thing. If you're interested in this product, there's a link in the description below. If you follow that link and happen to purchase it, Strange Device can get a small commission on that sale. And that's how we are able to keep this channel going and delivering this content. Thanks so much as always for watching the video and we're very excited to keep bringing you more videos, product reviews, playthroughs, interviews, uh, how-to walkthroughs, and we'll see you in the next one.